Hey y'all, this is Danny. I'm going to talk to you about the 521 uh, hard start kit. This is the CSRU3. It's for four and five ton AC units. Um, I've already installed mine, but I disconnected it because I never did a locking rotor amp test on it. I have a Lennox AC unit. And if you look right here on the Lennox AC units, the 48 in the middle, from what I've gathered on doing some research, you have a uh, 12,000 BTUs in one ton of AC units. So 12 times 4 would be 48. So this is a 4 ton AC unit. And the year of this model is an 01. So it's 18 years old. And there's a serial number. And I was told these numbers are where it's made. Not sure what that number does. But my uh, locking rotor amps is 129. That's what it does when the compressor starts up. So what this kit's supposed to do is 521 hard start kit which i got off of amazon 45 dollars. what it's supposed to do is assist it's right here and it's supposed to assist the regular capacitor in here and hopefully it cuts it down in half um i had it hooked up i've already tested it but i don't remember what the original starting amps were and an opposed to when i have the uh hard start kit installed i will say one thing this comes with like a little strap on it with a screw on it which is back there you can't see it to hold it in place this can be mounted vertically or horizontally but you have to make sure that you have this up and down that's what i was told on the install with the wires that run to it because if not you can get a faulty something faulty in here and it won't operate right so let me I have a meter hooked up i found the common wire already which runs to the compressor runs to right there the transistor, I guess it's called. So I set this on 200 to 400. And then you want to hit max. And then I want to hit hold. So it's on max and hold. So I'll go in the house and flip the breaker. I don't have the duck bill breaker in, as you can see. Also, I have rubber gloves on. I've taken a screwdriver and gone on top of the capacitor before I mess with anything and I've went across everything left and right and what's that supposed to do is kill the draw to all of this before I started messing with anything in here because you can get electrocuted and rubber gloves for safety. I am not an expert. I just watch videos on YouTube how to do this. So if you're going to do this, do it at your own risk. Um, and this is just for informational purposes and to show others. And I'll go more into the hard start kit when I get back out here. Let me go in the house, flip all the breakers, turn the AC on. We're going to run a test. Then I'm going to pull the breaker, go back in the house, flip everything off, come back out, start the video. We'll hook up the hard start kit. Then we'll do another test to see what it draws on the locking rotor amps. All right, so give me just a second. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, I'm going to take the duckbill fuse, plug it in. Then this should kick on, and we'll look and see what the lock rotor amps or inrush current is, if I'm saying that right. And I'll get up closer to the meter so you can see it. And then once it starts, it's going to get noisy. What I'll do is pull this breaker, go back. I'll stop the video, go back in the house. Then we'll come back out and continue the video where I hook the uh, hard start kit up to the factory capacitor. Show you how I do all that, show you the instructions and everything. And then we'll do another test to see what it draws and what we're saving. So let me plug this in. All right, so that's back in. Let's see what we get. It's about 72, 74 degrees here in Florida. So I went inside and hold on a second. Let me get everything off my compressor. Sorry about that. I had stuff on top of the fan. Like I said, not a professional. There you go, I think you can see it pretty good. So I know the unit's on because I see right here what those wires are flashing as everything's good on the circuit board. I know the fan's running in the house right now for the air handler system. Hopefully this will won't take long to kick on. And of course, it's going to take its time kicking on because I'm recording. 
wasting video. Just make sure you have your system set on 200, 200 to 400 amps right there. The rest of these are like volts and other settings that I have nothing, know nothing about. I'll be trimming this video down to get this part out. Come on, Betsy. It's not really hot out today, so it's probably taking its time to kick on. <laughs> 